Hello, yogis. Welcome to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's start with our slow, deep centering breath. Hari Om Tatsa, Om Shanti. We're on episode number 198 called The Path to Be All You Can Be. We'll stay for at least this week for on the week on the verse we covered last week, the twenty-eighth verse of the fourth chapter. I'll read it to you. There are others who make an offering of their wealth as a yajna, while some offer their austerities and yoga practices as a yajna. Some devout ascetics, faithful to their austere vows, offer the fruits of their sacred study and knowledge as yajna. So Sri Krishna is listing various types of yajnas or different ways that we can make offerings to the divine. Last week we considered the, the first one, Dravya Yajna, the offering of one's wealth. Now let's look at two more yajnas mentioned in this verse. One is Tapa Yajna. Tapas is an austerity that we practice for a period of time. Could be fasting, could be maintaining silence, could be celibacy. It's offered with the intent of achieving some level of self-control and purity of body and mind. It's not a masochistic self-torture. According to Swami Satchitananda, we actually don't need to do anything ascetic to practice tapas. He defines tapas as accepting whatever pain comes comes to us as a purification without causing pain to others. Pain is bound to come to us. When we accept it, we make ourselves much less miserable. And when we combine it with not causing pain to others or ahimsa, then we're practicing one of the most powerful yajnas. The next yajna he mentions is uh, yoga yajna. There are different definitions of yoga, but we could say yoga is the uniting of the individual consciousness with the supreme consciousness. This is experienced when the conditioning of the mind is no longer obstructing the true self. The conditioning may still be there, but we recognize that the voice in our head that's reacting to life based on its program patterns is not us. And all our attempts to get beyond these obscuring samskaras can be considered a powerful yajna. For a reflection, let's take some hindering mental pattern. It could be impatience, could be being judgmental, could be our unkindness, you pick it. And when you see it arising, let's make a, a conscious intention to create a new pathway that allows for the expression of our full spiritual potential. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.